If it's already confirmed that UTD is a big fan of JoJo, hmm, I think also Naruto. What is going on, Flame Squad? It's your girl, Nami Ted, the prettiest, the sexiest, and the thickest player here in Ultimate Tower Defense. And on this video, guys, we're gonna be checking out the final unit for this update, and that is my boy Sasuke. And he's actually a godly, even though it's only gonna be like his young form. So not really sure what to expect, guys. But if you are a Naruto fan, then definitely it is gonna be worth checking out. But anyway, guys, before we get started, you already know the drill. Make sure that you've already subscribed to our channel. We are almost at 40k subs, and it will be really hot if you will subscribe. And another hot thing to do is to burn that thumbs up button right now. But anyway, guys, come on, Naruto fans, and Let's see the power of Sasuke here on UTD. I'm really sorry guys if I cannot really spam videos here on this game like on UTD because I'm also busy on my main channel and if you actually do not know my main channel then yeah uh, it's okay. <laughs> but anyway guys Sasuke is gonna be a new godly unit here on UTD and as I've mentioned earlier guys it is only a kid version of Sasuke but he is already a godly unit so can't really wait to see like the divine version of himself but anyway guys who among you are a big Naruto fan and let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite Sasuke moment on the anime but for now I'm just gonna max out our money tower and yeah I'll be right back boys okay now we are ready oh actually not yet <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought that I've already placed our proppy. Anyway guys, as you can see in our bag, Godly Sasuke would cost us 700 cash to be placed. And that is not really expensive, but it's also not cheap. So I think that this is kind of like in the middle because that's the same amount of cash that you need to spend for you to place your Wiz who is actually a very solid starting divine unit. Ooh, look at my man's range. Oh, I mean... If he's gonna be a single target unit, then ooh, GG, godly. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's not try to place him. And there you go. What is he doing? Oh, he's doing some electric thingy. Yeah, probably some cheatery. Yeah, cheatery, right? All right, so anyway, guys, without any prestige, our young Sasuke would be giving us... Oh, Suzuki. <laughs> would be giving us a 425 damage. Range will be pretty good as his starting one is 16. And his range will be 2.1. And actually, look at that, guys. He got a little bit of a, a splash damage. Yeah, I think that is going to be some type of a splash damage, kind of like um, Vegeta, uh, something like that. Or I'm not, I'm not even sure if you can still remember that. Or should I just say um, Luffy Gear 4? All right, so just look at that, guys. I think it depends on the placement of the unit. Sometimes it can hit two, sometimes it can hit three. So not really sure about that, but I just wanted to see the color, though. It looks different. Like, yeah, look at that. It's color blue, but with color green. What is that though? <laughs> Alright, so anyway guys, let's not try to upgrade our Sasuke. We have here 600 cash and there you go. Alright, so he's now going to be damaging 607. A little bit of a splash damage unit. 18 range and his cooldown is 2. I think that he is now going to be probably... Alright, I'm just saying it right now on his 2 upgrade. I'm guessing guys that maybe this is going to be a unit in between Luffy Gear 4 and also Wiz. He is either going to be better than Luffy or maybe like worse than Luffy. I'm not sure but both of them are actually godly so... We will see later, guys. But I think so far, I, a Luffy Godly would be better if I'm going to compare Luffy right now. Anyway, guys, let's not try to upgrade it again. 1,000 cash in the bank. And there you go. 1,092. But his range will be 20. And his cooldown is now 1.9 seconds. So I think that it's going to be like a different taste of Luffy. Kind of like a faster version of Luffy, but the damage would be lower. But again, this is only like the three star upgraded the version of young Sasuke. No prestige, but still godly. So not really that easy to get. All right. So let's not try to upgrade him again. 2,200 cash. And let's see. All right, so he's now going to be giving us a damage of 2,061. 
Range will be 22 and his cooldown is now 1.8. Pretty sure that our Whis and also our Luffy Gear 4 has the same cooldown. And look at that, their cooldown is 2.3 seconds, but range will be 23 at max. For our Sasuke, it's now almost the same range as our Wiz faster cooldown obviously the damage would be lower so i think that sasuke is actually a solid one especially if you do not have luffy though but if you have luffy i'm not sure but anyway guys too early to judge let's not try to max him out 3800 and there you go all right so 3880 damage max range will be 24 and his cooldown will be 1.7 so yep i think that we are correct he's just gonna be a different taste of luffy ish type of splash damage unit and he's also gonna be a good starter unit just like luffy the way how we are using him and also Wiz, you know like just to start the wave because he got like a little bit of a splash damage and again guys it is not always hitting like three it depends on where the enemies are and at the same time of course it depends on the gap between these mobs so if they're overlapping i think that maximum he can hit like three but as you guys can see sometimes he's even only hitting one so he got like a different kind of splash unit i think that it's kind of like the the shuriken thingy of minato that it is uh, climbing like the electricity is climbing from or jumping from one enemy to another but yeah i'm just not sure like the, the full potential of it and look at that he just hit like two but all of a sudden he's hitting three so kind of weird but definitely a different kind of splash unit which is a little bit worse all right i'm just saying a little bit worse compared to splash damage of gear 4 luffy because on gear 4 luffy i'm pretty sure that it's like almost all the time he is gonna be hitting like three of them so that is one thing for you guys to consider but anyway guys let's not try to check how many sasuke can we actually place so there's gonna be the second one. I would be really surprised if we can place like five of them. I'm guessing it's only gonna be three, but let's see guys, it's not really something impossible. All right, so this is the third one. And come on, come on, come on. Oh no, yep, I knew it. <laughs> because I can already see it on damage, like 3,880. I actually already forgot the damage of uh, Luffy. So for those who are still using gear for Luffy, can you please let me know in the comment section below what's the max upgrade stats of a luffy just for us or just for the viewers to also uh, compare it to sasuke so i cannot really say that he is better than luffy but again he is kind of like a different version of luffy cooldown would be definitely faster but again sometimes he's only hitting like two mobs uh, at once and sometimes three so it really depends on many stuff and this is really hard to explain how is it really working but as you guys can see still he is not a single target i think that's the most important thing all right so anyway guys that's gonna be the power of one of the newest godly unit that we received on the most recent update here on utd for the naruto fans what do you guys can say about the young sasuke godly unit here let me know in the comment section below guys and as always if you enjoy watching this video don't forget to leave a like subscribe use star codes now whenever you're buying robux and I'll see you guys again in the next one. Stay hot. Peace out.